77 WABC and Ramsey Mazda. Back the Blue. A day filled with special guests and interviews. We support law enforcement around the country and the world. One of the things that happens that they won't volunteer to tell you is there's some really, really bad guys. And under the New York state law, they can't put them away. You know what they do? They bring in federal law enforcement, yep, yep. and we put them away under federal charges. They're there so that we can, you know, there's order and there's safety, and we can live our lives without, you know, worrying about going to a, a subway platform. If you don't feel safe and your family's not safe, uh, what else matters? To treat the police like we've been treating them in the past uh, few years here makes absolutely no sense. These people don't do it for the money. They want to ruin our, our city. I love our city. Eight and a half million people in our city. We need people to help them keep those torches lit, and the community is where that comes in. These are men, women, fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers. No mother should have to unzip a bag and see a child face. Your good child face, obedient, did everything right, just graduated. These men and women, these young men and women that have go are going through a lot. And that's why I spoke about mental health issues, substance abuse issues, and the high suicide rate over the last several years that are occurring in the law enforcement community. It's great to have an event like this and be recognized and appreciate the men and women out, out across our country that are putting their lives on the line. I've heard from shop owners, business people. They've had enough of it. The shoplifting, the larceny, the burglaries. Think about another child laying on the street, bleeding, bleeding. These streets that you walked are filled with blood, filled with mother's tears. Without law and order in our cities, uh, our cities will not survive. Together with Ramsey Mazda, 77 WABC Cares.